already. But what I want to say is glasses. I see you. I'm like the NSA with these glasses. I see you. All right. All right. Now, come to the stage. We got Naomi Wolf. She's an author, critic, activist, uh, co-founder of American Freedom Campaign. Uh, she raises awareness for the pervasive inequi inequities that exist in society and politics. Her latest book, Give Me Liberty, a handbook for American revolutionaries, which means I need a copy, includes effective tools for citizens to promote civic engagement and create sustainable democracy. Put your hands together, rebellious hand together for Naomi Wolf. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I get really tired these days because the news is so often so bad about this country that I used to really, really love. And when I get tired, what I think is, I miss my country. I, yeah, I miss America. I miss it. Where is it? And, and no, no, don't say that, right? We're about to pivot. We're starting with despair, but we're going to pivot to hope and love. All right? So when I get truly sad, and I'm actually departing from my remarks because you know all these brilliant speakers have already said most of what I was planning to say about what's wrong with the government violating our most intimate moments and tearing apart the Fourth Amendment. You know that already. But what I want to say is when I'm here with you expressing our First Amendment rights and protecting our Fourth Amendment and caring about the Constitution, I feel like here is a little piece of America. Here is a piece of America that can grow and grow to be again what it was always supposed to be. We know our country has had flaws and dark times and times that it always departed from its goal. But we are kind of in serious trouble now because, especially on the left, we've deconstructed the idea of patriotism, so we don't have a discourse about loving those values of freedom, free speech, democracy, separation of powers, accountability to the people, representative government dictated by us to them, by us to them. We have to love it. Again, those values and explain them to our children. It is so hard for me to talk to my 13-year-old son about his country now and explain to him why America is violating international law and dropping drones on people. And I have a heroine of Code Pink and Code Pink here behind me, Medea Benjamin and her brilliant colleagues. Code Pink, these are Americans, right? And you don't have to be an American citizen or in America to be metaphorically an American. I was hanging out with Egyptian revolutionaries last night who started the revolution in Tahrir Square for democracy. That's what this country is supposed to be, right? We are all Egyptians. We are all Americans when we love freedom, liberty, democracy. So now I'm going to pivot from despair to hope um, because I cannot stand this anymore. I can't. As a mother, as a daughter, I cannot try to explain this situation to my children. I do not want them growing up without safety and freedom and the rule of law. I do not want to have to explain to them why a hundred men have never been charged with a crime and are, are incarcerated in Guantanamo in their names. I don't want that to be my country. I don't want that to be our legacy. I want my country back. I want it back. So now, I knew I would cry if I really let this out. But you know what? We should be crying so that we can, so that we can take it back. Um, and then we'll be laughing. So right behind us, great dreams took place. Marches expressing American values, the bonus marches, veterans in the 30s and the Depression, who would not leave the steps of Congress until Congress was accountable to them for what they had promised. And they won. Eventually they won. And the great civil rights marches right here and right here. And at first it was people as depressed and dispirited as we are right now. But they won because they believed in the beautiful, most beautiful promises that America is supposed to hold forth. So on that note, I'm turning to these wonderful people who've joined me. I've studied how you close an open society and how you open it up again. What is the most successful way to protest? Amazingly, singing. 
Singing is what is part of every successful movement. I'm so glad that the MCs and the organizers have been bringing music, and so I have a terrible voice. But when people sing together, they're heartened for the long haul. So I'm going to ask you, please, who here knows this land is your land? Woody Guthrie. All right. A protest song. Will you come closer to the mics? So will you all sing with me, please? So we remember the country that we are losing and why we love it and why we're going to keep fighting for it, what our values are. Will you do that with me? Thank you. All right. So beautiful Medea Benjamin and her beautiful colleagues at Code Pink will get us started. We're going to do the chorus, first verse chorus, second verse chorus, and then we're going to march out and destroy the Patriot Act, right? After the rest of this rally. That's right. All right. In, for, for love of what we want to believe in again in America. This land is your land. This land is my land. Louder! From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land is made for you and me. For you and me. As I was walking that ribbon of highway. I saw above me, thank you, in this highway, I saw below me that golden valley. This land was made for you and me. Not for them, not for the NSA. Your land, not Homeland Security. This land is my land, not Guantanamo. California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest. Waters. This land was made for you and me. Let's remember what we love. I roamed and rambled, and I followed my footsteps to the sparkling sands of Earth and Desert. And all around me, my voice was singing. This land was made for you and me. Last chorus. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. From the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. Thank you. A round of applause to Code Pink and all of you. Patriots, destroy the Patriot Act. Take back our country. Thank you. Thank you.